Okay, so if you haven't watched my previous video, um, I'll just recap that I took this kind of sink is new in the house and I finally got a portable dishwasher on the cheap and I wanted to install it. So here was my solution. I took the uh, soap container that was put in the slot where the um, sprayer used to go in this sink and I replaced it with a utility faucet that is used for washers and dryers and it's red for hot so this will allow you to attach many other things that you might need in a kitchen that would use a water source that normally you wouldn't have a way to connect or you'd have to connect lines underneath and drill a hole in your cabinet this way if you stash and go you can just put it on there so something functional versus having a soap dispenser that may break anytime it just doesn't feel very secure so back to the fittings after three stores 60 or 70 fitting combinations i've tried i finally found uh, and every store had this this wasn't the problem this is your large cap quick connect for a dishwasher they make a small cap, a large cap, and an FX, which I'm not sure what it's for, but there's three um, instead of two. So this is your 1.5 gallon per minute fitting with an aerator for your dishwasher. Large cap. This is a three-quarter barb adapter and this one here has the screw on adapter and there are smaller ones and there are exact same size as this one in adapters and different stores had different ones but I finally ended up getting this at Lowe's it was the only place where I found it and it is different than the other ones so as i turn the video for a moment and i am balancing precariously on a package here's your two parts that will marry i even had three or four parts together trying to make the combination never found the combination it was terrible finally three stores two days 60 some combinations tried um, maybe 70 combinations tried and multiple assistants that didn't quite get there. I had moral support, which was great at Lowe's and came up with the solution. Now, this thing is kind of difficult to start. I heard it snap like, but it's just hard to start. Then you twist that together for all it's got. It's got a rubber washer down in there. It's got a rubber washer here. It's going to seal this three quarter, then is going on. And I think we're still in the right direction here. There's the sink. Here's the connector. And this is going to screw on right there. Now, the sink is full of stuff, and I've got to move everything to make room for the next piece. So, again, getting ready to use dishwasher. Want to try the dishwasher? I have dirty dishes. So, now to the next part. This is why this was such a hassle. This is your everything goes in one fill and drain connector for a Kenmore portable dishwasher and there's your snap connection now as you see another issue we got is the end of this hose normally would point down in the sink I haven't exactly got to that feature yet but I am trying to get to the one where I get the dishwasher close enough pull back this and 
snap on. Then it appears to have a small leak, but it is it is sort of sealing there, so it's not leaking too bad. A small leak. That's that's livable. I mean, it is what it is. Turn that back off. Dishwasher's not on yet. So we have a dishwasher that is going to be able to work. Now, I just noticed my next issue, and it's not that hard of a fix as long as it doesn't break. And we are going to turn the camera around again. And before I'm done with this video, I will share with you the part numbers for what I got to make this work. Um, but the, the piece is twisted. I'll probably have to take a pair of pliers to get the exact twist out of it, or maybe not. I think I just managed to get it good enough. So there's a small amount of cord. I'm going to have to use an extension cord to get this to work also. But the main objective, getting everything connected, was a success. So, now, again, at Lowe's, 105.11 is your portable washing machine adapter. 105.07 is your portable aerator adapter. And this is how you go to large cap and get everything to go. So your washing machine to a three quarter G H T F or barb connection and your 15 16 by 27 thread and 55 64 minus 27 female large snap coupling. Again, the part number for that one and that one. So that's what you need to go to any utility faucet to make a dishwasher work on a utility faucet. And I have been online, I Googled, I checked, I read multiple posts and nobody had this solution listed and all kinds of complicated ideas and hack the hoses and do this and do that. Um, that is your solution. So if anybody's been having trouble with this, there you go. That is how to hack your uh, portable dishwasher to go to a utility faucet or three quarter faucet like you have on a water hose or on your washing machine. Thank you.